Hey guys, how's it? Aloha, this is Jeeves here, your old composer here at the Decomposer Lounge with a Patreon pick, and this is going to be Streetlight Manifesto, the three of us. I've heard of the name, never heard of the band, uh, so I don't know what I'm in for here. Um, like usual, that's what makes this all badass for me and for you. And uh, it's been funny because I've kind of spooked myself lately starting songs and stuff and not, you know, expecting big, you know, punches and stuff like that, a volume and stuff, so I've been kind of... I've been getting these like defibrillator moments, I like to call them, <laughs> in the last few uh, videos I've been doing. So, uh, But this is a Patreon pick. I want to thank everybody over at Patreon, everybody else uh, uh, in the near future if you'd like to support me. You guys know how you can do that. All the links are down below. All right, guys, let's do this. Streetlight Manifesto, the three of us. All right. Wow. I will never defend a man who made commands with any enemy's friends. I will never pretend. Jeez, that was the badass most horn section I've ever heard on this channel without I mean, well we don't emphasize bands like that. I think I've maybe I've done one or two that have snuck some horn arrangements on there, but no 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 no. This is an absolute tower of power vibe. And back when I was engineering in the 80s in Los Angeles, there was a an A-list uh, brass section. We used to call them the Tower of Power. And that also is I think that was a band too. But um and this sounds so sick, like that type of A-list performance. Um, I love the sax way down in the back. See, now, now the thing is, is that if, as a composer to the pure listener, um, brass sections have representation tonally, much like strings or anything else. So you've got, you know, baritone saxes and, and other brass there and then next step up and then you have trumpets and then different sizes of saxophones trumpets trombones you have tubas you have that can all represent these multi-layered arrangements and that's what this was that was just absolutely brilliant yeah i'm lit i'm i'm, I'm i don't even need to drink the coffee right now i am absolutely lit up right now what bass playing I mean, the whole thing just put me into a whole different space. I didn't know what I was, obviously, I don't know what I'm going to get ready to listen to, but just, this is just absolute, because it started off with the really cool little uh, chord pattern that they were playing, uh, or that was being played, and the vocal came in nice and punchy and crispy vocal, and I was like, okay, so maybe we're in for some kind of punk kind of thing, and it was like this full fusion, I don't want to say, not ska, maybe, I think, maybe I think it is, because I don't have enough experience, but it, it felt, it had that kind of vibe to it and stuff like that. I should probably dip more into Scott, don't you think? All right, I'm sorry, I'm goobering. Okay, I'm gonna go back a little bit and let's get into it now that the vocals are here. <laughs> Any enemies 
powerful hook. I, I think for me, I'm just I'm just completely over the moon right now because um, this this is a little closer to my jam, if you would, um, in the sense that there's so much intricate work going on. There's so much intricate representation of different instruments. So there is crunchy guitars. There's powerful lick-oriented or riff-oriented moves that are happening there. But then they also uh, by virtue of you know great engineering, you have to be a great freaking engineer to handle this, and, and have knowledge of horns and and stuff like that. But you know one of the things that I like about very powerful songs and productions like that is that when they have the ability to still have the acoustic guitars cut through in certain areas, yeah, there was that one little section where it really was forward. But if you listen, you can hear it back there. It may not necessarily have. The most forceful tonal value as hearing the beautiful at the chord that it's playing as much as it is the percussive nature of the pick against the strings you know acting as more of a percussive arrangement than a chord arrangement um there is just so much great stuff happening here but this hook and the counter arrangements of it, the call and answer of you know you know that back and forth arrangement um this this is great i don't I wish I knew more about this band. I just I'm 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 an old fart sitting on the beach and don't know shit until you guys tell me. God, I love this. I got to go through this guy, these people's, this band's uh, discography. This was kick at. What do you mean was? I still got more to go. Stand by. Ticked off, checked off every single one of my joy uh, hits, joy boxes, whatever check mark boxes you want to call them, ever, across the board. You know, um, <clears throat> they fused in so many different um, production elements into it, from clean guitars to acoustic guitars to dark riffy guitars, not not the heavier, chuggier ones that we're used to. You know, Mashika style, but still yet, dark guitar, dual guitar arrangements, the the subtle arrangements from the trombonist that's happening in the back of the hook. You know, there's so many different unique colors here, but they're all kind of. This is kind of like a, a Picasso moment for me. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm if I'm glowing a little bit. It's just everything in this song was so uniquely crafted but somehow they kept the through line and the consistency of the song's uh, theme if you would in power all the way through 
Even that last where I completely face melted that funk section. What the funk? And that bass player, shit. I mean, look, there's everybody in there to me. This was, what was the term that's being used now? By all the young people on the internet. Um, God tier. God tier, I would I don't know if that's the right way to use it. But these guys killed for me. And so uh, on Patreon, you know who you are. Thank you so much, so much for suggesting this. Um, this was this was a super super joy for me. So please leave uh, comments below on more songs you think I should listen to, and also you know the obscure ones because you know I know some of them are, some people hit me with the most you know their biggest hits and stuff. But for those who are the real fans of the bands, know these little obscure jewels and stuff like that. So uh, hit me with that stuff. Anyhow, thank you so much, man. I am just fried. Like I'm just like like. I, now I can do my walk on the beach and just be like flying. I'll probably cut 10 minutes off of that just by the energy I'm still going to have hanging over after listening to this. You guys take care of yourself. Thank you all for your support. And I hope you're smiling like I am right now. Because if you're still here, type in, I'm still here. And put in a smiley face or a shaka or whatever you want to put. Emoji. Some kind of happy joy emoji. All right, guys. Take care. Aloha.